Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to CHI, your host, Odysseus. Uh, and this episode's dinosaur, unlike the frames, is a particularly small size. Micropachycephalosaurus. This late Cretaceous Chinese ceratopsian is quite unique among its kind, in that it might not be among its kind because Micropachycephalosaurus is only based off of one incomplete specimen. A specimen that does not have the usual hallmarks of its species, like the dome heads or such. But there's also no evidence to refute that, but that's just an asshole's response. Anyway, even though Micro had the longest name among dinosaurs, it was still rather small, measuring about three feet long. There are some that say that dinosaurs would make great pets, but this one is literally the size of a pet. But still, it does share some characteristics with other Pachycephalosauria. Bipedal, herbivore, probably lived in a group. It's probably safe to say that Micro was a basal member, one of the first of its kind that would eventually lead to the others. But as far as its media representation, well... name is not exactly earning the big bucks. But still, this play is pretty cute. Until they turn around and start shaking their asses, then it just gets creepy. Now of course Micro's cousins have gotten the limelight a couple times, most notably its larger and far more dangerous counterpart. Pachycephalosaurus. Carnivore? Huh? No, no. Herbivore. Late Cretaceous. Yes, Pachycephalosaurus has been featured in a couple of things, most notably the Lost World Jurassic Park. And if you can ignore the film's anti-poaching message, it's a pretty good representation. He's also been in a couple TV shows and video games, although I doubt that anyone's gonna use Micro as a mount anytime soon. In my opinion though, a lot of basal members of dinosaurs tend to get lost in the shuffle, mostly because they all look alike. It's only really when they adapt and diversify is when they get interesting, but really Micropachycephalosaurus is still pretty cool in its own. I will say that it seems to have gotten a lot more attention than a lot of other single incomplete specimens have. Trust me, someday soon, some producer bigwig will see this little guy's potential. Now hopefully this was not a short video. Let's draw out of the hat. Cartosaurus. Cartonosaurus? Carton Cartonosaurus. Carnotosaurus. I'll pronounce this right at some point. But I'm still gonna do an episode on it. Because that's what I do. Carnotosaurus? Cartona? Carnot. Did I spell this correctly? <laughs>